Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to share with you guys how to make some delicious red pork tamales. In case you guys don't know how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for the recipe we're going to need six cups of instant corn masa for tamales, five pounds of pork shoulder, one cup and a half of lard, 12 tomatillos, 20 New Mexico chili pods, three chili anchos, one onion, garlic, four bay leaves, five teaspoons of baking powder, and all of our spices that I will link in the description box. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. Okay guys, so first we're going to start by getting a large pot. We're going to fill it up halfway with water. We're going to set it on high heat, and to that we're going to add one onion, one head of garlic, four bay leaves, salt, and chicken bouillon. So now we're just going to wait for that to come to a boil. Okay, so once our water comes to a boil, we're going to throw in our pork shoulder. Just make sure that you cut it into big chunks. And also remove as much fat as you can. Okay, so now we're just going to wait for it to come to a boil again. All right, so once it comes to a boil, we're going to remove any foam form on top of the broth. Okay, so now we're going to reduce the heat to medium. We're going to throw in the whole black pepper, the clove, and the allspice. And now we're just going to cover it and let that cook for about two hours or until the meat is all nice and tender. Alrighty guys, so it's been two hours, so at this point our meat should be fully cooked. So it should be all nice and tender. So now we're just going to remove it from the broth, turn it off. Remove it from the broth. Just pulling, just pulling apart. All right, so once we remove the meat from the broth, now we're going to strain the broth. All right, so just be careful. All right, we're just going to use the broth for our masa. So once we have that, we're just going to set it to the side and work on our chiles. Right, so for our chiles, we're just going to place them in a small pot along with our tomatillos. Just make sure that you clean them, remove the seeds, and then cover them with water. And I'm also going to be adding some chile de árbol just so like my tamales could be a little bit more spicy. But now we're just going to bring them to a boil. All right, so once our chiles and tomatillos have come to a boil, we're going to turn it off. And now we're just going to transfer them into our blender cup. Okay, now we're just going to transfer four cups of the water. And now we are ready to blend. All right, so to our blender cup, we're also going to add seven garlic cloves, one and a half teaspoons of whole cumin, and chicken bouillon. So now we're just going to blend until we have a smooth sauce. All right, so once we have our sauce, now we're going to set it to the side. All right, so now we're just going to shred our meat, and I'm just going to remove all of the fat. Of course, that's optional. And we're just going to break down our meat. All right, so once we have our delicious pork all nice and shredded, now we are ready to put our filling together. All righty, so from our broth, we're going to grab the top layer of fat, and now we're just going to transfer into another frying pan. We're going to set it on medium-high heat, and we're just going to wait for that to heat up. All right, so once that heats up, we're going to throw in our meat. And now we're going to fry it for a couple minutes. All right, guys, so after a few minutes, our meat is ready. So now we're going to add our chile sauce. And of course, strain if you need to. We're just going to reduce the heat to low setting. And just make sure that you reserve one cup of the chile. Okay, so now we're just going to wait for it. Just mix everything together. And try it for salt. For me, it's perfect, so we're just going to leave it as it is. 
but if you need to add some more salt, go ahead and add it. And we're just going to let it simmer for a couple minutes. All right, so after five minutes, our delicious filling is ready. So now we're just going to turn it off and we're going to allow it to cool down. And meanwhile, we can make our masa. Okay guys, so to make our masa, we're going to begin by mixing the chile sauce with the broth. So we're going to need a total of six cups of liquid. So just mix it. Okay, and now in our bowl, we're going to begin by beating our lard. Okay, so we're just going to beat the lard. So we're going to beat into it nice and smooth. Okay, so once it's nice and smooth, we're going to add the baking powder. Everything is nice and mixed. And now we're going to add our masa. So we're going to do one cup at a time. And then add the broth. And we're going to begin to mix everything. And you can use a spatula or your hand or the mixer. All right, so once you have added all the liquid and all the six cups of masa, now we're just going to mix for about 30 minutes. All right, guys, so after a very long time of mixing the masa, uh, let me tell you, if you're gonna be using your hands or the hand mixer, it's going to take a very long time until you get your masa to perfection. If you have a stand mixer, make sure you use it because in 15 minutes, your masa is ready. So always test your masa by grabbing a, a cup of water and then a piece of masa and it should float. And once it floats, you know that your masa is ready. So now we are ready to make our tamales. Okay, so now we're going to grab our corn husk and make sure that you soak your corn husk overnight or for at least four hours. So just make sure that you grab the soft side. And now we're going to grab our masa and we're going to spread it. And just spread it whatever is easier for you using the spoon, spatula, or one of these spreaders, okay? So just like that. And for me, it's easier to use my little scraper. So just spread the masa like that. Just spread like butter. Okay, and just like that, we have our tamal ready. So now we're just going to repeat the same process to all of our corn husks. Alrighty guys, so once we're ready to stuff our tamales, we're going to grab our husk. We're going to grab our filling. We're going to place it in the middle. And add as much as you want. Okay, now we're just going to grab one end, tuck the tamale, and then grab the other end and close it like that. We're going to grab the tail and then fold it in. So just like that. And just like that, you have your tamales. And now we're just going to repeat the same process until we no longer have any tamales to stuff. And also at this point, we want to get our steamer pot ready. Okay, so for my steamer pot, I fill it up this much with water. I set it on medium heat. And then in the inside, I just place some corn husks, just like that. Okay guys, so once we have our tamales all nice and stuffed, we're just going to arrange them on our steamer pot. And we're going to grab the extra husk and we're going to cover our tamales. So we just kind of form a pyramid. And then like a little tent. And now we're just going to use a kitchen towel and cover the pot. And then just allow them to steam for about two hours. Okay guys, so it's been two hours since our tamales have been steaming. So at this point, they should be done. Um, so we're just going to remove the lid. Be careful because it's very hot. Oh yeah, they look done. As soon as you see that the mass is already coming off of the corn husk, then you know your tamales are done. What you wanna do is take them out so like that they can sit. Well, the masa can sit. Oh, 
coming out already. Alrighty guys, and just like that, we have our delicious tamales. So now we are ready to enjoy. Alrighty guys, so after a few minutes, our tamales should be nice and firm. So now we are ready to open it and enjoy. And it should be super easy to fall apart. Look at that. Don't let no masa go to waste. And now we are ready to enjoy. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you guys that I always have said it that making tamales, it's time consuming. You know, it's a lot of work for just one person, uh, but they're super easy to make. And if you have the extra hands, it's even better. So get your kids, get everyone in the kitchen, and then make the delicious tamales. It's seriously worth it. Just look at that. Um, they're super flavorful. The masa is like perfect. Um, like I said, I always said it, you know, that these are seriously the best tamales. So I hope you give them a try and enjoy them just as much. Cheers and enjoy. Mm. Mm hmm So good. All I'm missing is a nice cold Coke. And that's it. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how I make some delicious red pork tamales. I hope you guys had enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.